Hello everyone, welcome to your PSC classes. Now the thing is that ICSC has announced today itself, it has announced that there will be two exams, two board exams for the students of ICSC as well as ISC. Now the thing is that how things will be carried on or how these exams will be carried on, this could be a little bit of tension. You don't have to worry about it. I'm here. I'm here right here. I made this video just for you people so that your doubts could be clarified that how exams will be taken and uh, what could be the pattern, what could be the marking scheme, everything. Everything will be explained in this particular video. So don't worry about that. All right. So first of all, how these exams will be conducted. ICSC has announced for the students of class 10th that there will be two exams. First exam will be in November 2021, mind you students, November 2021 and the second lot of exams will be in the month of March and April because now class 10th is divided into two semesters, semester 1 and semester 2. So there will be separate sub syllabus for semester 1 as well as separate syllabus for semester 2. All right. Second thing is that semester one and semester two, the chapters of all the subjects, all those chapters which will come in semester one will not be coming in semester two exams. Semester one exam will be in November 2021 and semester two exams will be as per the pandemic situation, it will be conducted in the month of March or April. This is first thing. Second thing, the pattern of exams. November 2021, the first semester exam, the exams will be completely online mode and the questions will be MCQ based. That is multiple choice questions will be there in each and every subject. So in the same manner, the questions have also been divided or the chapters of each and every subject has been divided. Secondly, when it comes to the second semester exam, the second semester exam will be prior will the second semester exam will basically be a subjective type of question. Both the exams will be of 80 marks, but when it will be conducted for the final result will be based on the division of the marks based on the first semester exams as well as from the second semester that means to understand in a very simple manner means if it is of 80 marks the first semester exam it you will be counted the marks will be counted off out of 40 the next 40 marks will be added from the marks which you get from the second semester for example out of 80 in the first semester you got 40 marks that means you got 20 marks similarly in uh, if you in the second semester if you got out of 80 you got 60 marks so 60 will be divided by 2 and that will be 30 so 30 from the second semester and 20 from the first semester will be 50 out of 80 right and yes internal assessment marks will also be there i hope you understood this part if you have got any doubts you can comment in the comment section share this particular video so this is how the exams will be conducted Go through the site of ICSC or rather I will be doing these things that for every subject, every subject I have prepared the list so that you don't have to, uh, to mix up things, how things will be conducted or how, uh, what all chapters are coming in which semester. So subject wise we will be discussing which all chapters are included in semester 1 and which all chapters are included in semester 2. Okay. So watch the video completely till the end so that you can understand things very nicely. I hope this particular part is very clear to you that uh, that semester one will be MCQ based questions and semester two will be subjective wise. So you have to be very much now prompt enough to start preparing in that particular way. Your teachers will definitely help you. I'm there to help you out. If you've got any doubts, you can comment in the comment section. I'll make a video of each and every doubt kind of thing. Or I'll clarify your doubts regarding, uh, I will try with English, history, civics, geography, all your doubts. And apart from other subjects, if you've got any doubt, I'll be trying, I'll, I'll definitely try to solve all, all, all the problems. All right. So the first thing, what you need to study. First thing, now you have to study things in detail. When it comes to English, now let's take for example, English literature. Now in the first semester, only Act 3 will be coming. 
act 3 scene 1 2 3 4 5 now mcq based question will be there that means you have to go through each and every scene in a detailed way so that you don't get uh, uh, in, in, in a, you don't get any kind of confusion while the questions are asked all right sometimes mcq the the thing is that mcq appears as if it's very easy but sometimes people get confused that's what actually happens in upsc and state psc exams in the first the first paper itself is actually a an mcq a kind of mcq question based all right and people get confused so you don't have to worry about that you have to now focus your attention in a detailed way now when it comes to uh, history civics and geography now topographical maps will be now asked in semester one now whatever the things are there you have to answer that uh, there are certain answers what are the six figure for example you will be given that topo sheet or i don't know how it will be taken uh, but basically it will be based uh, on the definitions which have been uh, allotted in the syllabus what are definitions you have to study then some four figure they can ask all right so we'll be discussing these things in a detailed way how things will be asked in geography how things will be asked in history how things will be asked in other subjects today what you need to go uh, do is watch this video so that you get a clear idea you get a clear idea about the things which are coming ahead all right i wish you all the best first of all do not panic do not panic by these new announcements right you don't have to panic at all you just focus on your preparation if your pre preparations are good if your preparations are very nice why to worry then yes there can be some glitches but still you can manage things all right so all the best for all the subjects now discussing about the subjects all right now let's talk about subject wise how the syllabus has been bifurcated so in the first part we'll be discussing english so english let's talk about the first thing that is english language so english language in the semester one the portion which is to be covered is comprehension and grammar part so only comprehension and grammar you have to prepare mcq based in the second semester the portions which will be covered is composition letter notice and email so you have to practice these things for your march and april exams while comprehension and grammar will be covered in the november 2021 exam now let's talk about english literature english literature in the first semester from the drama section that is merchant of venice act 3 scenes 1 2 3 4 5 will be asked from treasure trove two poems that is i know why the caged bird sings and second one is the patriot by robert browning from the short stories part you'll be asked the little match girl and the blue bead this will be mcq based these chapters so you need to learn act 3 very nicely so that you don't miss out anything now in the second semester in the english literature part act 4 and act 5 will be taken into consideration or these two acts will be covered from the drama section and from treasure trove poems will be abu ben adam and nine gold medals Abu Ben Adam and Nine Gold Medals, the two poems. Short stories, there's two short stories, My Greatest Olympic Prize and All Summer in a Day. So two sto short stories, two poems and two acts in the second semester. So this was all about the English language and English literature. Let's talk about the next, that is. Now the next one is history and civics see the children and the thing is that i have not included the indian languages there are so many indian languages that uh, i couldn't actually discuss in this particular one video so for the indian languages syllabus will be uh, discussing things in a separate video i hope you can understand my problem anyways let's talk about the next thing that is history and civics bifurcated syllabus so from the civics part there is only one chapter which will be coming in semester one that is union legislature the whole unit union legislature which includes this one chapter from the history part in semester one 
will be the Indian National Movement starting from the first chapter that is and the mass phase of the national movement that is Indian history complete Indian history will be coming in the first semester so it will be a hectic job for you people to go through each and every part of the chapter and then answering things in MCQ based question when it comes to the second semester then the second semester or in the subjective part of the exams which will be taken in uh, the month of March and April from the civic side you will be asked two chapters that is the union executive which is like prime minister and the president part two chapters are there and the judiciary that is the supreme court and the high court remember the reduced syllabus is actually as usual you have to follow the reduced syllabus this is just the bifurcation of the syllabus division of the syllabus which chapter will come in which part of the exams so do not get confused children and from history part the contemporary world will be asked in the second semester contemporary world will be asked in the second semester let's talk about the next subject that is geography now geography from the first in the first semester the chapters which will be important for you to learn the interpretation of topographical interpretation of topographical maps then the next chapter will be location extent and physical features there will be no map in the november part of exam then the next chapter will be climate soil resources natural vegetation and water resources you need to go through these chapters in a very detailed way so that mcq questions or objective type of questions are not missed by you in the second part of the exam that is semester 2 maps of india will be included there will be there are 12 maps altogether then the chapter which will be included is mineral and energy resources then agriculture there are four chapters of agriculture manufacturing industries transport and waste management all the units you have to cover in the second semester exam so this will be a little bit of tough job or hectic job for you people to study almost all the chapters from geography including all the 12 chapters and the sub chapters so you don't have to miss out anything now so this was geography i hope you understood then let's talk about the next thing that is mathematics now in maths part in the first semester that is the mcq based question which will be asked in the first semester will be commercial arithmetics complete unit then algebra from algebra there will be six chapter which include linear inequations quadratic equations in one variable then ratio and proportion factorization of polynomials matrices and arithmetic progression from algebra part that is in semester one mcq type of questions and in geometry part similarity will be included only algebra commercial arithmetics and geometry part will be included in the first semester in maths in the second semester that is in the subjective part of the exam from algebra part coordinate geometry will be included from geometry circles will be included and mensuration trigonometry statistics probability complete units all the units will be included in the second lot of the exam or the second semester exam i hope you understood this part let's talk about the next thing that is physics so in physics in the semester one exam the chapters which are included are force work power and energy complete unit then the second chapter that will be light and sound this is the third chapter in sound also you have to study reflection of sound waves echoes their use simple numerical problems on echoes so this will be mcq based when it comes to the subjective part that is semester two the chapters which are included is sound from sound part again you have to study in the subjective part you can mark down in your cop in your book natural vibrations damped vibrations forced vibrations resonance uh, and loudness you have to include these things from the sound chapter electricity and magnetism complete unit is you will be asked heat complete unit will be asked and modern physics complete unit will be asked so this is how the syllabus or the chapters have been bifurcated for the exam next is chemistry now in the chemistry part semester one there will be a lot of chapters in semester one 
periodic properties variations of pro properties then chemical bonding complete unit acid base salts analytical chemistry mole concept and stoichiometry and electrolysis these chapters will be included or the questions will be of mcq based and in the semester 2 exam that is subjective part metallurgy study of compounds and organic chemistry three chapters will be included in semester 2 exams i'm again minding you students that there will be no inclusion of chapters from semester 1 in semester 2 so whatever chapters are asked in semester 1 they will not be asked in semester 2 so prepare in such a way so that you don't get confused mind you you have to prepare mcq based questions all right let's move on to the next subject that is biology biology there are basically three chapters or divisions basic biology complete unit the whole unit basic biology which includes certain chapters and plant physiology two units are there basic biology which includes all the chapters from basic biology and plant physiology all the chapters included are from plant physiology which will be asked in the first semester that means all the chapters from these two units will be questions will be mcq based in the second semester or the subjective part of exams human anatomy and physiology will be asked the third unit complete unit that will be in subjective part so this was biology the next one is economics in the economics part the bifurcated syllabus is like divided into two category semester one the productive mechanism theory of demand and supply market and banking in india from banking in india money part will be asked in the first semester that is mcq based questions in the subjective part of the exam or in the second semester the chapters which will be asked are banking in india from banking in india commercial banks meanings and functions central bank demonetization public finance next chapter inflation and consumer awareness these three chapters which include all the unit will be asked in the second semester from economics next is commercial studies from this particular subject commercial studies those students who have opted for commercial studies first three chapters that is stakeholders in commercial organizations complete unit will be asked in the first semester then next chapter will be marketing and sales complete unit and from finance and accounting capital and revenue and costs these two part will be asked the subunits in semester one in semester two again from finance and accounting final account of sole proprietorship budgeting sources of finance capital market sources of raising capital all these parts will be asked from the second semester human resources logistics and banking these three units will also be asked in the second semester or the exams which will be taken in march and april the next is computer applications so let's talk about computer applications so the chapters which will be included is revision of class 9th syllabus from semester 1 then class as the basis of all computations user defined methods complete unit all the unit and constructors these all chapters or these all topics will be dealt in semester 1 in the semester 2 part library classes encapsulation arrays and string handling these things will be asked in semester 2 exam that means subjective exams let's talk about the next thing so we'll talk about another subject one more subject is left and that is commercial applications so let's talk about commercial applications last but not the least in this particular video the next video if you have a specific uh, like demand like so kindly uh, discuss about the this particular subject because there are a lot of subjects other subjects also so if you want me to discuss you can comment in the comment section so that i can discuss the uh, other subjects also which i have not discussed in this particular video so in commercial application understanding the basics of markets and marketing this one unit complete unit will be asked in the first semester and in the second semester you will have to study 
अंडरस्टैंडिंग फाइनेंस अंडरस्टैंडिंग ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पब्लिक रिलेशन ऑल दीज थ्री यूनिट्स वुड बी आज इन द सेकेंड सेमेस्टर आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट इफ यू गॉट एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग एनी सब्जेक्ट यू कैन कॉमेंट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन आई विल क्लैरिफाई ऑल योर डाउट्स